Hey guys, Top Hops here, and today it is still Christmas Day. It's actually about 10 p.m. I've had all my fun with my family today, and I've now come to the office so that way I can show off all of the cool Funko Christmas presents that I got, as well as the one from YouTube's. So let's get started. All right guys, so let's just get started here. I also brought them all in a Christmas bag because I thought that'd be fun, but let's start with the plush on the top here that I got from my mom. Now this one, actually, I think it was my mom and my dad, um, but they actually gave me this right here. I now have three out of the four of them. I think there's only four. Well, I can think of there's Batman, there's Joker, and I have the Flash. Does it have the set on the inside here? It doesn't. It just tells you which one you have here. So I'm thinking there might be like three or four. Well, at least I have three of them and there's probably one more. Maybe Harley Quinn, I'm not too sure, but if they do have one more, Maybe I will get it just to complete the set. And if you guys want to sit this one on your shelf, it actually does sit pretty good. I think the feet kind of balance it out nicely and it does have like a little kind of like heavier, not just like uh, stuffing on the inside. It feels a little bit thicker than that and it does sit pretty nicely. So if you guys want to sit it on your shelf, you definitely could. Now let's get on to the next thing here, which is just this pocket pop. Now I actually found out that I do have this one, but I wanted to get a second one anyways to put on my keychain. So this will be great for my keys because I did recently break my stitch pocket pop. So this I'll swap for that one instead. Dead. All right, now what else do we got inside? Oh, okay, so I showed this one off in the Christmas video yesterday, but we have the Inspector Gadget flying. Now this is just such a great pop. I used to watch Inspector Gadget on DVD a long time ago. We had a DVD of them, and I don't know what season it was or which episodes they were, but I do remember watching Inspector Gadget when I was younger. And so this is the only one that I have out of the set so far. Maybe I will get more of them in the future, perhaps Penny. Like maybe I'll just get this Inspector Gadget, which we have now, and then Penny, and I think that's what I'll probably get. Unless they come up with a cooler Inspector Gadget or maybe some other characters, that's probably all I'm gonna grab. Because this one here really does take the cake when it comes to Inspector Gadget pops. I mean, you really can't get much better than Inspector Gadget flying and he's got the like propeller coming out of his hat. I think this is a really really well done figure and Funko you killed it with this one. Alright guys so let's move the stuff off to the side and let's get into some of the other pops. So this one right here which is the Sonic 30th anniversary. I actually want to take this one out of the box because I want to see how they made him look like he's running really quickly because I didn't in yesterday's video. So let's see what this thing looks like because this is actually really cool and I'm sad that I didn't get the glow in the dark silver because that is a Hot Topic exclusive. I just picked up the normal one but maybe if I see it I'll grab it but the problem is, is I don't want two silvers and I'd have the common one and the glow in the dark one I feel like I'd rather just grab the glow in the dark one because I'm definitely not gonna be getting all of these guys but anyways let's get into this oh wow okay this is neat I like how they made it look almost like a figure eight I think that's really cool so you guys can see this is Sonic running and just overall Funko you did a great job on this pop and I'm glad that I got this one for Christmas because this one is just too cool now the question is does he stand okay we're gonna try here uh, he does, he does. Okay, that's cool. I like that. And if you guys look at him from the side, this is probably how you would have seen him in the original game with kind of the red going sideways like that. And that looks pretty well done. And I will say though, guys, Funko is doing a great job on all of the different Sonic ones. Let me just show you this one right here because I have it behind me. I keep showing this one off just because it is too cool. But this one is the Super Sonic and Super, si no, Super Tails and Super Silver. And uh, this is probably one of my favorite sets from Sonic. I am just a huge fan of this one. But this pop right here is also really cool. So I don't know, it's a toss up between these two now. But I really do like how the Silver and Tails are flying in that two pack there. And in the normal ones, they aren't flying. Actually, they haven't made a normal new tails. Funko, if you're watching, I would love to buy a new one. All right, guys, now let's get on to the next thing here, and I don't know what would be next in the bag. Okay, so we've got the Silent Night Batman. Now, this one here is cool because, I, actually, it's funny, I didn't catch on. I didn't realize that it was the Dark Knight Silent Night Batman. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but it is actually a really cool play on words here. So let me pop this one out of the box as well because I want to take a look at the cape. Also, I am a huge fan of Batman pops. You guys might know I have a bunch of them, and if you guys would like to see a full collection on all my Batman ones, I definitely could do that. It's just so many pops, I would hate to do it because it's like 30 or 40 and I'd want to do 360s for you guys but I probably wouldn't knowing me because I'm lazy um, but anyways let's get into the Silent Night Batman here oh okay so I couldn't see the back but yeah this looks really great it's got snowflakes as well as like little circle versions of snow kind of falling there and this is also translucent at the bottom so that's a pretty nice touch and I don't know if these were ever in comic books maybe they were just something that Funko created to make like a Christmas line for the DC characters but if you guys want to see the back of the box so in this set guys we have Superman in holiday sweater Wonder Woman with string light lasso 
Batman as Ebenezer Scrooge. We also have this Batman here. So there's a couple different exclusives that I do have. They're just not on the back of the box. These ones here are the common ones. We have the Flash Holiday Dash, which is to go with this one right here. It's the exact same, just the figure form. We also have the Harley Quinn with Helper and then the Joker as Santa. And if you guys want to see them, there's the back of the box right there. All right, guys, now let's get on to the next thing here. And I think we're going to go with the U2s next and then we'll get on to the rest of the pops. So here it is right here. And I guess because we didn't do it in yesterday's video, I'll do it today. It is U2's time! Again, thanks for the present, U2s. So if you guys didn't hear yesterday, U2s was nice enough to actually just send me some tracking information and they said there's a gift coming to you. So U2s, thank you so much for sending this over. This is really amazing because I am trying to get all of the different uh, dead meme figures. So the original one is just the red version of the, you know, do you know the way Ugandan knuckles and where you kind of like, is the little guy. Anyways, that one's a really funny one. I haven't been able to get my hands on that one yet. I mean, I probably could find it. It's just a little bit pricey, so I am kind of looking around for like a decent deal on that one. But now we have the snowy meme as well as the hollow meme, and they did say that they're going to be coming out with more of them in the future, and I'm pretty sure the next one that they're going to be making, because they have teased this one before, is the one foot one. So when that one comes out, I will definitely be picking it up. But if you guys want to see the snowy meme a little bit closer up, there's the front of the box, and then around the entire thing, it's just like snow with trees on it. And then when we take this off here, it says snowy meme and the figure does look really great it's very derpy but that's kind of the point of this figure and then on the side there it says press x to throw snowball which I thought was pretty funny I'm pretty sure on the original one it says press f to doubt and then maybe it's press e to spook I think on the other ones, I'm not too sure, but it doesn't have any text on the back. And then on the inside flap, I don't believe there's any text either. No, there's nothing. But if you guys wanna check out the figure a little bit closer up, because I wanna even take a look at it. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. Here it is right here. It's the exact same sculpt as the other one. They just changed up the colorway on it. And this one here, he is supposed to be snowy, kind of like a snowman. And I'm just a huge fan of this one. And well, anyways, I've said it a bunch of times, but YouTube, thank you so much for sending this over because honestly, you did not have to get me anything for Christmas. And this really was unexpected. And well, I guess guys, that concludes YouTube's time. So let's get on to the next two pops, which if you guys saw yesterday's video, you might know which ones are left over. Because if you guys watched yesterday's video, you'd probably know which ones are left over. And it's two that weren't really supposed to be in this video, but they made it in anyways. It is these two right here. It is the last two Lucha Libre pops that I was missing from my Lucha Libre hunt. It is the Captain Marvel as well as Wolverine. And now you guys might be thinking, why weren't they supposed to be part of the Christmas video? Well, if you guys didn't watch the Lucha Libre video or the one from yesterday, what had happened was is I had these two in a bag near the ones that my mom were supposed to give us for Christmas So she accidentally wrapped these ones and I couldn't go through the presents because I probably would have found some other gifts So we had to wait till Christmas and that's where they were They were under the tree in one of the bags So these are the two that I well I purchased for myself, but technically they made it into the Christmas video So I guess it was like a little gift to myself and then if you guys want to see the back of the box, there is the rest of the Lucha Libres there. And also every single one has a unique logo right there. So I thought that was kind of cool. So there is the Wolverine one, which is Animal Indestructible. And then on this one, it's the La Estrella Cosmica. So which means the, oh, we talked about this in the video. I don't remember what it was. My friend Alejandro, who actually speaks Spanish, um, helped me out with that one. So I don't remember what he said, but it was something like the the cosmic star i forget what it was anyways if you guys speak spanish please let everybody know in the comment section below just because i am blanking on that one right now but anyways there is the back of the box with the custom logo for that one right there all right guys and so that was everything inside the bag and there was one thing that wouldn't fit inside the bag so let's get on to that next which is this right here this is the bugs bunny looney tunes 80th anniversary dvd collection now this right here is really cool because it does come with an exclusive diamond edition version of bugs bunny right there and also my dad and i were looking this up and i want to make sure that this is right it's something like this anyways it says acme on the side of the box there and apparently roadrunner actually owned that company and acme is supposed to mean like the best of the best but in the show it always kind of just exploded and it says the best is what we dream of i think was their slogan so we kind of like really looked into this just because i was kind of curious about it so it's kind of funny that the best of the best is what they dream of so all of their products explode or break or they just don't go right so i thought that was kind of funny that funko did put it inside of an acme box and also on the top there, you guys can see it is full of carrots, so maybe there's something wrong with the carrots. I'm not too sure, but let's get into this so I can actually see what's inside this thing because I don't think I've ever seen anyone open these up before. All right, guys, we've now got the shrink wrap off, so let me pop this thing out of the box. Actually, let me see if I can do it from the side there so it doesn't ruin it. Oh, got it, okay, we should be okay. 
squirt. Okay, all right guys, so here we go. Okay, so the pop is just in the front there, which is nice, so not too bad. Let me get this thing out of here. Actually, we'll start with the DVD, just because this here is a Blu-ray, and I'm not too sure what this comes with. Is it just three discs? I think that's what it is. So it comes with Bugs Bunny, disc one, and then it also comes with disc two and disc three. I don't know what's on it. I'm guessing it's probably all of the episodes for Looney Tunes, or maybe most of them, which is gonna be kind of cool. It comes with 60 restored slash remastered theatrical shorts, new documentary, Bugs Bunny's 80th What's Up documentary, and bonus Looney Tunes cartoons and more. So that's kind of cool. So if you guys wanted to get one of these and love Looney Tunes, I definitely recommend this because I don't think these are on many streaming platforms. But anyways, let's get into the pop here because I do have most of the ones from the 80th anniversary. So I did want to get this one as one. I'm so glad that my parents did get me this for Christmas because this thing is just amazing. And this is the only way, like I said, you could get the Diamond Edition Bugs Bunny. So there he is right there if you guys want to see him. And I'll probably keep him in the box, maybe for now. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Whatever I'll do, I'm definitely going to keep this box anyways. Oh, there's also a card in the back here. Oh, what is this? So it says, congratulations, Bugs Bunny from animation historian Jerry Beck. Now, what is this? Oh, cool. So it says Bugs Bunny's 80th anniversary. And if you guys want to read that, I'm not going to read the whole thing right now. But if you guys want to take a look at it, there's a card right there. So I will say, if you guys want to just pick up one of these for yourself to get the exclusive figure, or you want to watch the DVDs, or you have a friend that really enjoys uh, Looney Tunes, I definitely recommend picking this up. And also, this is limited to 33 so it does have a limited number on it. And this one here is kind of funny. 27,507 out of 30,000. I don't know why they made the numbers go all the way up. It would have been cool if they said like one, but I guess it's even cooler if you were to get a lower number. So for me, I just got a high one. I didn't really care because the pop doesn't say what number it is, but I guess it is kind of neat that they do put the limited numbers on there. All right, well, anyways, guys, that is pretty much everything for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you to everybody that got me a gift this year, because honestly, I can't thank you enough. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops, Popsters. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B54 thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Let my legs.